Rain. What is up, this is Sinclair the Wolf. Right. I'm gonna make this video about what I expect out of Tekken 7, if there is a season five, or whether it's Tekken 8 coming up next. So I'm gonna talk about, one, the current state of Tekken 7, and it's currently in season four. The second thing we're gonna talk about is Tekken 7 season five, or Tekken 8, and what I expect to see out of them. Yeah, what I would like out of Tekken 7 if there is a season 5. Or if Tekken 8 is coming up next. I'm going to let you know what I would like to see. Alright, first we're going to talk about the current state of Tekken 7. Like the last Tekken 7 video I've uploaded was the Tekken 7 season 4 finale in which I used Eigoro, Armor King, and Leroy Smith. And just edited it from there because. And went back to Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I've been playing Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and Tekken 6. Um, so I went back to my PSD and played it. Right, but as far as Tekken 7, um, that was it when I uh, played um, using Eddie, Armor King, Leroy Smith, and uploaded uh, the Tekken 7 Season 4 finale. You know, I mean, to me, um, honestly, I mean, it really, it really doesn't offer anything fresh. I mean, I know that there was recently an update in which uh, more custom customization items were made available, uh, but that just wasn't enough. It, it just it wasn't enough for me to wanna to go back to the game. All right, it just it, it, at this point, Tekken Seven has really become repetitive, and there's no incentive or anything anything to motivate me to really get back into it. Like what it would take for me to go back to Tekken Seven is if they have a season five. And they add a, a tech of force mode or scenario campaign. And um, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but just um, add two more characters, legacy characters, not not new characters. I mean, I, I feel there's enough new characters as it is. The last one being uh, Lydia. I mean, there are so many new characters in Tekken Seven. I mean, it's, it's if they're gonna add any more characters, let them be legacy characters, okay? And bring Bruce back. I mean, seriously, I don't know why he was excluded in the first place. He's Kazuya's right-hand man. I mean, Kazuya's, um, yeah, Kazuya's the main character, okay? So a lot of people like to say Jin. Uh, well, first of all, in Tekken 1 and Tekken 2, Jin Kazama wasn't born yet, okay? So, kill that, all right? Um, but he's Kazuya's right, he's been Kazuya's right-hand man, you know? Ever since Tekken 2, um, Bruce and Kazuya have been in league with each other, you know? They've been in league with each other, all right? These two. Yeah, Bruce and uh, Kazuya. This is a custom Bruce, by the way, that I made back in 2013, all right? Yeah, they've been in league with each other for a long time. And uh, in Tekken 5, it, uh, Bruce and um, Bruce makes reference to that in his Tekken 5 interaction with uh, Kazuya. Even in Tekken 6, um, during the scenario campaign, when you encounter Bruce, they mention Kazuya, all right? And him being over your best friend, I think it was uh, somebody, Nina or Anna, it was somebody who uh, who said something about uh, Bruce and Kazuya being um, old friends or something like that. But, anyways, 
Yeah, what I like to see if there's a Tekken 7 season 5 will, will motivate me to get back into Tekken 7 will be the addition of um, two characters. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking either Bruce and Rodeo, Rodeo Mantana from, from Tekken Mobile, or it could be Bruce or Bruce and Ancient Ogre. It could be Bruce. Uh, it could even be Bruce uh, and uh, Revan. You know. But if it's uh, more than, but if it's like around three. Let it be uh, Bruce, Ogre, and uh, Revenant. All right. And also, I feel they should add the stages from Tekken Mobile into Tekken Seven, like the um, what do you call it? the the Windmill Haven? I think it's called the Greek uh, the Greece stage, um, the the Wreck Street, uh, the um, the museum. That's a good stage. That's a cool stage. Those are still are like brilliant stages that Tekken Mobile offered that should have been um, reworked for Tekken 7. I mean, that, that will really freshen the game because at this point, yeah, I mean, Tekken 7, I mean, even though it's made a lot of sales, it's become quite stale. I mean, let's be honest, it's stale and repetitive. And uh, there's always. And, so, I mean, and who keeps. Who, I mean, who wants to keep playing Treasure Battle? Who wants to keep. Continuing the, the play online to, to encounter cheaters, lag glitchers. It's the same thing over and over again. So it's like, it's sad when you have to go back to Tech Attack Tournament 2 and Tekken 6 in order to get a, um, a fun, replayable experience. You know, it's, it's sad. So I feel that um, Katsuhiro Harada and the uh, Tekken Project team really, I mean, if they really want. Tekken 7 to finish off on a good note, they should do a Season 5, implement the elements from Tekken Mobile, like for example, like the story of the characters from Tekken and the stages, they need to implement the story, the characters, and the stages from Tekken Mobile and bring them over to Tekken 7 if they really want to um, end Tekken 7 on a, on a good note, you know, I mean right now, because to end it right now, I mean really, it's leaving a, um, it's leaving a sour, Foul taste in the mouth of us gamers, okay? including myself. I haven't been back to Tekken 7 uh, since. I've been playing Tekken Tag Tournament 2 and, and Tekken 6. Okay, so that's something we need to do. That's something that, I mean, in my opinion, that we need to add in order for um, Tekken 7 to be remembered as the epic Tekken game. Because right now it's just, it's known as the lackluster bug. Bugged out, flawed um, game with a lot of problems. You know. All right, but as for as far as uh, Tekken 8, if they decide to go along with uh, Tekken 8, which which they will eventually, I feel they should do season five first. But if they do go to Tekken 8, when they go to Tekken 8, I'm expecting. Um, the return of um, Ogre, and, and remember, in Ancient Ogre's Tekken Tag Tournament 2 ending, there's more than one Ogre. There, there isn't just one Ogre, okay? People keep saying, oh, Ogre was killed in Tekken 3. That's just one of them. You have to understand there's a horde of Ogres somewhere in the universe, okay? According to uh, the Tekken lore, okay? A horde of Ogres. The one that Jing uh, Kazama killed was just one of them, all right? Yeah, I'm hoping that they add uh, add him. I hope they bring Bruce back. Bruce is my prime main character, you know? I don't care what people say, all right? That's who I, uh, that's who I want included, you know? If anyone has seen my Tekken Tag uh, videos, whether it's Tekken Tag 1 or Tekken Tag 2, these are my main two, okay? So in Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag Tournament 2, yeah, as well as Tekken 5, I don't know, Bruce is my prime main. Same with Tekken 2, that is. And he's backed up uh, by Eddie Gordo. And in Tekken 4, all the way up to Tekken 7, Eddie's my man. All right. Whenever Bruce is not around. So when Bruce is not around, Eddie holds him down. All right. Okay. Now, in Tekken 8, we know we're going to do the whole thing with Kazuya versus Jen. 
uh, and the whole hoopla. And I hope they bring June Kazama back. There are many saying that. I'm hoping they do bring her back and they make um, Unknown as a part of the canon story now. Right? I feel that would be really interesting to add that into there along with the uh, feud between Kazuya and Jin. Right? And it'll be a perfect time for them to bring uh, Bruce back. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be cool for them to bring Pe Pectosan back also. You know, that would be cool. Um, but I'm, I'm really expecting like Tekken 5 style interaction in Tekken 8. As well as uh, a Tekken Force mode and scenario campaign. You know, some mode to keep gamers coming back, you know. And the scenario campaign for Tekken Force should be online co op. That should be an option with that, just like it was in Tekken 6. Alright. That's that, that was something that that's something that would definitely add replay value to the next Tekken installment. But other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm expecting, um, yeah, I would like to see a great story. I would like to see Tekken 5, uh, actually, they, they should do both. They should do a Tekken 5, the Tekken 5 interactions plus the scenario campaign, um, style, um, mode as well. Okay, they should, yeah, they should do those things, all right? But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, alright? I'm Sinclair the Wolf. Take care.